Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Mohammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about 9 types of filters in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. The filter number 1 Home tab Data transformation and then it will open up the power query editor and then if you want to filter any kind of data like this department i want to filter it only by marketing okay it filters data here and on the right side it added a row filter row if you close and apply then it will affect in all the pages Filter number 2. In Power BI Desktop, on the Filters pane, you will see this filter on all the pages. In that, if you drag and drop some fields here, then it will filter everything. Say for example, I just want to filter the position as well. I am drag and drop position here. And if I select as Manager or Office Boy, it filters the data in all the pages of this Power BI Desktop file. Filter number 3. Filter on this page. Again on the same filters pane, if you go to this filter on this page, then if you apply the filters on this page, then it affects only on this page, that is on the filters page. Not on the duplicate of battery, not on HS1, not on any other pages. You can select multiple filters as well. Filter number 4. Filter on this visual. If you select any visual, then on the filters pane, you will get an option like filters on this visual. Then you can able to filter only on this visual if you want. I'm just selecting this one and then it has already the data i mean columns you can filter it from here it will not have any effect on the other visual let's have a look with another visual i'm just selecting this slicer visual and then on the filters pane it has a filter on this visual i'm selecting active it filters active on the slicer but it doesn't have any effect on the table Filter number 5 Cross Visual or Object Filter To enable that, first of all you need to go to File and then Option and Settings and then Options If you go to this Current File and Query Reduction you will have this option Reduce Number of Queries Sent By and Disable Cross Highlight of Filtering by Default If you take this one, it will disable this one by default it is not Disable, but it is enabled. Then what will happen is if you click on this one, say for example, I'm just clicking on the slicer active, then it filters on the table as well. If you select inactive on the slicer, and it selects on the table as well. This is cross object filtration. The next is filter number six. The row level security. Click on modeling tab you will find as manage as roles i have created a role as if you want to view as view as a role you can click on the technician click ok then in all the pages it will filter the technicians whatever you have assigned the roles and whatever you applied the filtration as well stop viewing just click on the stop viewing I have made a video about this one, row level security. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Filter number 7, the data type. On the Power BI Desktop, if you click on that. If you want to filter any of those, you can filter it here. Click OK. The interesting fact is, if you filter the data here, and if you go back to this one, report one, it will not have any effect on the any pages on any visuals. You can just 
filter only on the data tab. The drill through filter on the visualization pane. I made a video about the drill through features in Power BI Desktop. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Filter number 9. The DAX filtration. Basically, we made many kinds of calculations out there. So if you want to filter the DAX, you can use the DAX formula as well. So here's the list of types of filtration in Power BI. One is the transform data in Power Query Editor. The second is report level filter. You can filter on all the pages. Then page level filter. You can filter on this page. That is the current page. And then visual filter. You can filter on only on a specific visual. And then cross visual or object filter. Example is slicer filter. And then row level security. And then the data tab. Which will not have any effect on any visual on any pages. And then the drill through, you can filter data on the drill through page. The last one is the DAX formula. These are the nine types of filters I have found in Power BI. If you have something other than this, just post it on the comment section below. You can start the conversion on that. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Share it with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.